going on guys? I'm just going to do a quick video here on how to remove the interior kick panel on um, late 80s or early 80s to early 90s Dodge. I think they're all the same cab styles, but anyways, the driver's side kick panel here is quite a pain in the butt to get off. Passenger side, not so bad. I'm just in the middle of removing all my interior to do some sound deadening work. And <clears throat> I just want to show you here how to remove this. So there's one, uh, I flip it on this side. There's, I believe, six or seven screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws um, on the kick panel that need to come off first. Um, and then you'd think these, these two up here are pretty hard to get, but you'd think once you get all, all of them off, it'd be pretty easy to just pull it back. Well, that's not the case because right on these, let me focus on these little things here in every one of those spots, um, just those four spots, there's little dabs of glue. So that that's actually glued to the inner panel there. So what I did found was the easiest way to do was remove um, the e-brake assembly and just get it out of the way. There's two half inch bolts on from the engine compartment side and then there's another half inch bolt that um, goes up on there. So once you get those removed, you can just pull the whole assembly out of the way. And then I also unscrewed it from the top of this. Um, and then that gave me a little bit more room to get in there and it was still, this thing's still hard to get out. So I was thinking maybe I could move it as one assembly, but no. What I did was I got my screwdriver in here and then where it was stuck, I just got in between the two panels and then pried sideways and it snapped loose. Um, and it broke that, that glue loose. So, um, just a quick video show on how to do that. If you're in the middle of trying to take your interior apart and you can't seem to get that out. Thanks for watching.